Okay, so today we are doing the review of the DJI Mini 4 Pro and I have bought the Fly More Combo Plus so 45 minutes of flight time so here's the box it came with when you buy the drone uh, don't forget to see whether the green seal is there for originality so now let's open it up so inside this fly mode kit the fly mode kit plus you get a shoulder bag so here you can see here's the shoulder bag and it's pretty good quality Obviously, I've opened it before, so I know what all is there. And uh, this has very good padding, so even if this bag falls, your door is not going to break. So now let's see what we get inside the shoulder bag. So here we get the drone itself. So here's the drone, and here is the RCN2 remote controller with the touch screen. And here are the three batteries. So when you buy the drone, one battery will be in the drone itself and two batteries will be in the charging hub. So let's first open the batteries. But before that, let's see what accessories DJI gives us along with the fly mode uh, kit. So here we get to see some instruction manuals, some QR codes to the best video editor for uh, drone footage from this drone. And you'll be seeing the results uh, of the footage of this drone and flying test also of this drone at the end of the video so do watch on and uh, here are the accessories so you get one data cable that is uh, uh, type c to usb and uh, you also get um, a charging cable which is type c to type c and that you need a charging um, uh, block or an adapter which is at least 30 watts to charge these batteries so now we will first open the drone so here is the drone so you can see it's a really small drone It's under 249 grams uh, versus this is the fly mode kit plus it is slightly above 250 grams and here you can see it's as big as my hand and here you get the gimbal protector and propeller protector so let's open it up so it's easy to open so open it like this and as always DJI drones have to be opened like this down legs like this and these you have to open straight as you can see and now to open the gimbal protector and here you can see the drone itself so um, this drone has omnidirectional optical avoidance so here are two fisheye sensors and here also there are two fisheye sensors and here there are two more and here's the infrared sensor and here you can see the main camera so this has true vertical shooting so the camera uh, completely rotates for full resolution so this shoots at 4k 60 frames per second that's the maximum resolution that you'll get and in slow motion it's 4k 100 frames per second so here's the rcn2 remote so this gives you 20 kilometers of range because of these external antennas and you can see it has a pretty good display so we'll wait for that to switch on and here is the charging hub for the three batteries each battery gives you 45 minutes and it takes about five hours to charge all the batteries so here you can see and uh, please make sure to charge it with a uh, adapter which is more than 30 watts so that it doesn't take too long to charge so this is battery and this is all which you get with this fly more kit plus and there's accessories the extra propellers and all so here you can see the screen um, it's very good quality and one thing I would like to mention when I got this drone I was really surprised that there are actually cooling fans inside this remote uh, so that it doesn't overheat and all in uh, um, high temperature areas where you are flying and this has up to 700 nits of brightness and I recommend you buy this and not the RC N2 controller you should buy the RC2 controller of DJI so that you don't have to keep attaching a phone and uh, this battery simply goes into the drone and also when you buy the drone you get 2 GB 
of inbuilt storage in a road so if you are not going to shoot more than uh, like 50 photos in one flight and you're going to keep transferring the photos to your phone you don't need a micro sd card but i'll be taking lots of videos and photos uh, so you have to put a micro sd card like this uh, you can use any micro sd card up to 512 gb and you just have to put it in the micro sd card slot which is over here and here's the type c port if you want to charge directly to your drone but i recommend that you use the charging hub for the faster speed and uh, all the flight data is stored on your rc controller so here also you get a type c charging port and here you get a micro sd card slot so that you don't have to keep deleting your previous flight data but uh, this is completely optional you really don't need this and now let me explain the controls on this controller so here are the two antennas as you can see now here uh, is the up down and uh, turn left and turn right and this is uh, front back left and right like any other drone and this is the flight pause button or the return to home button you have to press and hold for return to home so here you can change your flight mode from cine to normal to sports and here is the off button and here you can see here's the record button and here is the take photo button here's the zoom wheel and here's the gimbal adjustment wheel and here is the c1 and c2 buttons so this button over here is for uh, uh, you can program it for anything but it is preset um, this button over here is preset to uh, completely rotate your gimbal to vertical shooting and this one is uh, preset to completely put your gimbal down and then completely straight to zero degrees again so now we will do the flight test and after that i'll also show you the footage from this drone and uh, now let me tell you some more things about this drone so this drone comes with a three axis gimbal so you can see now it's not powered on so it's not stabilized but it has very clear footage and it flies at the maximum speed in sports mode of 60 kilometers per hour so now let's fly it on our terrace and see the footage i also have some footage from lunaga a very nice hill station in maharashtra and uh, you'll be getting to see the footage uh, from the drone of that place also so let's head on top and do the flight test okay so before we fly the drone uh, we're going to put the helipad so it's really cheap uh, i'll put the link in the description for the helipad it's pretty good quality and there are two sides uh, with different colors so now let's put the helipad so here we are on the terrace so here we have put the helipad and now we'll set up the drone okay so now before you fly um, you will have to connect it and all uh, so that uh, dji only will tell you on this remote and you can also see that i put a screen guard for the remote so you can put a screen guard also uh, so now you have to click on go fly and you have to make sure that the satellites are in white and then only take off now before you take off you have to remove the control sticks from the back of the remote and attach them okay so always keep them stored behind so that uh, when you pack it up in the shoulder bag um, the remote doesn't get damaged now to take off just click on this button or you can do a manual takeoff by pulling both the sticks over here and then up that's manual takeoff so now i'm doing automatic takeoff so here you can see the drone has started and now only go anywhere other than the home point once it shows home point updated now on the screen you can see the battery the amount of battery left it updates after a while and uh, you can change the camera settings and all over here so i like to keep it at 48 megapixels so now the drone is shaking around a bit because uh, there's wind and we are really high and you can hear the optical avoidance sensors and uh, now let's go and I'll show the footage. 